This is a proportional only controller for the temperature control lab. We're going to go through the exercise of actually coding this up and getting a response of the proportional only controller, but then also computing what's called an offset. So this is our set point up here. And for non-integrating systems, a proportional integral or proportional controller as opposed to a proportional integral or proportional integral derivative controller may have something called offset where you have a set point and then the PV value and there's going to be a persistent steady state offset between the two and we want to be able to quantify that so for this temperature control lab let's dig in we've got um, the objective here to quantify the offset between the set point and the measured temperature we have the form of the proportional only controller where the Q value is our controller output and that is going to be the Q bias now for this case we start at a steady state of zero we can turn the controller on the Q value the heater value is zero so this one is going to just be zero okay and then this is our proportional part of the controller we have a KC value that is our controller gain and then we multiply that by the difference between the set point and the measured temperature or this is sometimes referred to as the air so it's proportional to the air that we have and that is going to be our heater value so there's a uh, different ways of tuning uh, to come up with good uh, proportional uh, for proportional only controllers to come up with the KC value this is an ITAE or integral of time weighted absolute error method and we're just going to use this one to come up with a good KC value for set point tracking there's also a disturbance rejection mode so in our prior uh, studies we came up with KP is 0 0.9 and tau P is 175 seconds and then theta P was about 15 seconds so somewhere right in that uh, area if we calculate that that is going to be 4.45 for our KC value so that's the one that we're going to use um, but we, before we implement it we're going to use this simulator so if you look at the link up above I'll put that in the video description as well uh, you can open up this uh, okay I'm going to bring up this simulator and if you just paste it into a Jupyter notebook and then run it it's going to come up with a simulator that is going to show the offset as we adjust the KC value so if we go up then you're going to see the offset uh, decrease the offset is 10 if we go up further to 4 or to 5 you can see the offset is decreasing if I go all the way up to 15 you can see a little bit of oscillation start there and then as I go down to 1 uh, you can see the controller becomes less aggressive and there the offset uh, is going to be large zero uh, basically there's no controller and the heater value stays at zero okay but we want to go up to about 4.45 so our offset is going to be somewhere between uh, 8 and uh, 6.7 so somewhere right in uh, between those is where uh, we're calculating that um, and we could always you know just put in uh, 4.45 let's just see if this works and I think I'm going to do more steps here okay so there it is it says offset is 7.39 it's a little hard to see with the small text there okay so that's our simulator we could see how much offset we are expecting and um, let's go ahead and implement this in the controller and then we'll let it run and, and then we'll calculate the amount of offset so I have 4.45 this beginning script is also available from the website and then you just want to fill in uh, this section the P only controller equation and so here we have uh, Q1 bias 
plus kc times and then in this case it's going to be our set point okay so sp1 and i'll have to you know that's going to be changing so uh, just put in the index there for the set point one and then we have t1 and we'll put in i so we're taking a measurement from the arduino device and then comparing the two this becomes our error and then this becomes our q value now the one thing below it we're just clipping it between 0 and 100 and then we implement the q1 device or the q1 value on the device and we'll just print and then wait for a second and then loop again and take another measurement compute another q value clip the q value implement the q value on the device and then sleep for another second okay so that's basically the script what we're going to do now is um, let's go ahead and run this we're going to just run it with ideally and um, or you could run it from the command prompt okay and i could probably figure out how to do it from notepad as well uh, notepad plus plus as well but um, anyway i'm just going to run it here and then we're going to look at the offset after it's done so it's going to go ahead and start there you can see the heater the temperature and the set point and then after a few cycles uh, it's going to change to 60 and there you can see the heater value went to a hundred percent and there you can see the temperature it's going to start rising and then we're going to just go for a period of time and wait i believe 10 minutes let it get to steady state and then view the result okay so let me go ahead and minimize this and what i'm going to do is while this is calculating uh, let's go and just compute what is our anticipated uh, you know what is going to be our anticipated offset so if we start with just this equation right here which is our first order plus dead time model and then just assume when we get to steady state when it levels out we're going to have that be equal to zero the time delay doesn't matter anymore and so it's going to reduce down to this equation right here okay where you have um, you know the prime means deviation variable so I just put that as t minus 23 and the q prime um, is going to be q minus zero which is our starting value so the two are really equal okay and then the other thing we have is the pi or the proportional only controller and so that's going to be q equals q bias plus kc times our 60 value we went to 60 and then minus our temperature okay so let's just combine these two into one i'm going to substitute this one down right here and q bias is zero so now i have zero equals minus t minus 23 plus kp kc and then this is going to be multiplied by 60 minus t all right let's go ahead and um okay so if we rearrange this one right here it's going to come up with uh you know temperature equals 23 plus and then we have kp times kc and then the denominator we have one plus kp times kc and then if we just plug in the values that we had from before 0 0.9 uh 4.4 uh 5 and then that's going to come up with um, something that looks like this where our offset that we calculate is 7.4 alright and then if we come to the actual plot okay there's our calculated value right there and then our measured value the very end point we're just taking the difference between those two and we found that it's 9.16 so fairly close um, you know we used uh, in this case we had a KC of 4 um, you know if we did 4.45 
it's going to be a little bit uh, less. All right, but um, all right, let's go ahead and just look at this one, how it's going, and see if it is leveling out. Here you can see it's 51.84, so about 8, uh, 8.2 is our offset and it looks like it's already leveled out um, it looks pretty steady there so we calculated about 7.39 it ended up being about 8.2 so fairly close to what our calculation suggested all right so that's um, that's it for the proportional only controller uh, we implemented a p only controller we observed some offset we were able to calculate how much offset there was going to be with our first order plus dead time model in steady state. And just to give a quick overview of what's uh, coming up, if I go to the next one, I have a PI controller, and then we'll do a PID controller. And let me come back to the schedule. Um, so we're on this one right here. We're going to do PI and then PID. And we'll do some tuning exercises with those and feed forward and then talk about actuators and sensors. So this section right here is the control uh, development and the prior section that we had was about modeling. Okay, how to come up with uh, physics-based or empirical models. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video.